Hi guys, <clears throat> good morning from Thakka Bangladesh. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today again, I'm back to my cold. Voice is kind of out, uh, nose is kind of blocked. Uh, it's basically the weather. So time is around almost 2 a.m. here. And I'll be doing uh, three episodes for you, two individual and one list. Uh, hopefully I can finish them. It's raining outside, kind of nice at around uh, this late night because the whole day stayed very, very warm. So a little bit cool breeze, kind of relief. So let's see what you got. First fragrance I got today. Uh, here it's uh, called Ahmed Al Maghribi, the house. And this house, I uh, told you I would like to review so many fragrances, but I haven't done quite enough. But this house is pure quality, okay, and it's affordable house on most part. Um, they make excellent fragrances. Some of the fragrances are kind of inspired by some excellent designer niche, but uh, sometimes you find some originals. So this one, I'm not sure what this is uh, cloning, but I thought this was interesting. This is called Mauzun, okay. Uh, this is the box. And this is not very expensive. This 100 ml EDP concentration this is under $25, okay, in Bangladesh. So you can find uh, on Fragrantica Bangladesh, they're selling this. I think maybe some other shops, if you find uh, for, check out whoever's selling for best price, take from them, okay. So this one has this kind of bottle, okay, really nice looking bottle. And it will look like, it looks like something's wrong with the bottle, you know, like it's supposed to be, you know, normal, but it looks like unfinished or broken, right? No, the bottle stays like this, okay, it's kind of slanted, kind of cool. Okay, it has this kind of like uh, blue, sorry, what am I saying, blue, blue is the watch, uh, is the red and the yellow combination, looks like a sunset theme, it gives the vibe of Fahrenheit for some reason, which I have around me, let me show you, it has sort of like a similar theme, isn't it, so uh, nothing to do with Fahrenheit by the way, okay, this fragrance, this fragrance is totally different, so very simple look to the bottle, I like it, it's kind of unique, it sits like that, that's the one thing I, I mean, it's like this, you know, so it's, it's it to each his own, so the name of the fragrance, okay, and it says uh, Mauzun EDP 100 ml, pretty straight, straightforward. The cap is very snuffy, you can pick it up and uh, very, very snuffy. Light cap, atomizer is good. Okay, oh man, I just sprayed on my phone. Okay, let's show you once more. Okay, it shoots, it shoots like a, like a hose, you know, so not what you think I said, it's hose, okay, Jose. So, <laughs> sorry, so you'd be thinking like, hey, he said H and O, you know, okay. <laughs> no, not me. Okay, so the <laughs> thing is, I have this on the paper today. I don't know where my, uh, you know, test strips are. So I, I found a piece of paper and I spread it there. So I can smell it even though my nose one side is block of sinus, but I can smell it from the other side because I had coffee and some beef noodle soup, which is pretty good. Asian beef noodle soup, very fancy stuff, okay, with a lot of chili. So chili basically clears your system out. This fragrance is potent, man. This fragrance, Ahmed Al Maghribi basically are very oily fragrance houses, okay. And uh, Albay Taldi Mashki and this house, I always get confused between the two, but they both produce very high quality perfume because I think they use very good quality oil. Same thing here. This thing, first of all, the uh, I mean, the performance is top notch. I mean, I used it in a hot summer's day. I got decent longevity. Projection was very headache inducing because I went kind of over overboard. I went like four or five sprays. And with this fragrance, you don't do that because this thing has that, you know, Middle Eastern uh, sort of a uh, rose, oud, fruits, you know, amber, saffron, all the spices you can think of, but more sweeter in nature. So higher the heat, this becomes more headache inducing, okay? Which is not necessarily a bad thing because this is not the fragrance's fault. This is meant to be for uh, night outs, you know, like cooler days out, winter. This is a cooler set of fragrance. This is not a fresh heat. So I saw the ad on the page. Uh, the page said this is uh, like a fresh out of the shower and soothing vibe, okay? And I was like, hmm, that sounds like nice, like a sweet, maybe fresh summary. So nowadays, I don't ask anybody what is this inspired by or what does it smell like. I trust my own nose. I blind buy because, you know, sometimes you get wrong information, right? So this fragrance, I bought it because I thought it would be a sweet, fresh type. But I saw the review of one of the reviewers. I think who did review this? Uh, <clears throat> I saw, I'm sorry, I forgot. I, I think maybe there are a couple of reviews on this. So I think I saw and I realized at that point that this is not a freshy. This is going to be more Middle Eastern type perfumes. Okay. So I do not know what this is a clone of, uh, but I can tell you what I smell from this. This is a pretty uh, juicy, like it reminds me of Mansara perfumes. Okay. Mansara's, the rose type, the rose, Beni, roses, Beni or roses, greedy or those kind of fragrance, you know, Montals. This is very much like those perfumes, very oily. Just take a look at the paper once again. It, it is, it is like uh, not infected, but it, this one has been attacked, you know. 
so i will tell you one thing this fragrance easy with the sprayer okay yeah uh, this smells pretty unisex and i think this one uh when i smell it it this is nice little vanilla as well you know so it is a middle eastern uh thick syrupy sweet fragrance with a touch of rose i don't know the oud is not like very oud uh like how to say uh, like agar oud type okay this is more the wearable like kalemad black you know those middle eastern sweet kind of uh sexy that's typical middle eastern uh, fragrances this is like that okay so this is not really anything groundbreaking but it's plenty nice okay for the price it's pretty good and if you just want something to you know be a bit more sweet and you like to wear something on the date you can wear this wear not to wear this do not wear this at work okay do not wear this at a, a serious meeting at office you're meeting someone like your higher authority or boss and you would like you know you just go like all like with a rose there and you hold your rose and you wear a tuxedo with a rose tucked on the tuxedo uh, your boss is going to fire you <laughs> don't try to seduce the boss seriously okay so this is like not pretty serious kind of fragrance this is up class you can go on uh, let's say like a exhibition where they're showing paintings you know you can go art culture exhibitions or you know those kind of things music festival will be beautiful clubbing you can go with this dating this is kind of like those seducing kind of type so if you have this you know it's gonna stay very sticky okay so the rain is coming down really nice i can hear it really really uh, nice but it's not nice when the power failure boom you know suddenly i'm in the dark and I go, help <laughs> you know i'm crying from the third world country hey help me take me <laughs> sorry late night coffee is not a good idea okay so let's let's finish this i like this plenty okay this one has a kind of like almost gourmet touch to the fragrance i think valentine's day will be perfect and i think for the budget it's a very high quality fragrance so if in your country is like 40 35 bucks don't blame me because different countries are different taxation so I think this is a good fragrance for cooler setup, uh, not to be worn in high heat. If you're wearing this at 45 degrees, uh, wear at your own risk, okay? Uh, plenty of performance, plenty of push. Two and a half hours of push means it is something. Uh, but wear on the shirt. It, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I just knocked on the mic. Today, I am really on fire. Am I not? You know, even the mic is on. Yeah, mic is on. Mic is not off. So I would say 100 ml, which is a good thing. I always uh, support giving a full bottle not like the broken bottle and i'm not talking broken it's like slanted but some of the bottles will give you uh, 80 ml <laughs> i have 75 ml <laughs> and then they charge you like 35 bucks i mean it's a crime okay i'm so sorry borderline 120 ml bro come here you know give it let's, let's just hug it out you know <laughs> so it's pretty good pretty good solid uh, fragrance but i would say try before you buy still not a blind by worthy i like the smell and uh, those spices that i smell it's mostly more sweet vanilla type of fragrance like then spicy okay so second uh, secondary notes are spicy oud kind of a smell but mostly amber play so this is a sweet amber rose uh, fruity fragrance i would give this fragrance a seven out of ten okay the reason being i have plenty other fragrances which does the same thing and it is not really a brand new uh, concept thanks for watching let's move on to the second review which is going to be i think very first review on uh, youtube Hopefully I'm not wrong. Take care. Bye-bye.